Did you know that less than 10% of our viewers are subscribed to the channel? Subscribe now and don't miss any news from the Grand Theft Auto universe. Welcome back to GTA Insights. New ideas and discussions ahead. Stay tuned and take care. While Rockstar doesn't officially reveal the next GTA game, fans continue to speculate and talk about things they'd like to see in the next GTA. On Reddit, Epic user Sun Tzu said he'd like to see more gameplay options for the next GTA. Here's what he wrote. I'd love to see lots of options to edit gameplay as we see in Ghost Recon Breakpoint. I think it is a great way to adjust immersion in the game. Of course, this would only be applicable in SP, but I want options that limit how my inventory can be managed, e.g. not being able to carry 10 different weapons on my body along with 1,000 rounds of ammunition. I like the idea of being a bit more tactical and having to think about certain engagements. I want to be able to use the trunk of my car as storage for my inventory. Or maybe be able to carry a bag around which can be used to select certain inventory. This can give the game all these extra layers that we can explore and enjoy in different role-playing scenarios. Also, being able to manage enemy difficulty such as damage output and detection would be a nice flair. Having to think more carefully about your ammunition and throwing away magazines with ammunition in there. Why are your thoughts? User Gaylord talked about the idea of starting bar fights in the next GTA game. Here's what he had to say. Anyone else like the idea of player started bar brawls? In Red Dead Redemption 2, you could start a fight in the saloons without getting the law on you. Usually these fights are just you versus whoever you antagonized enough and their buddies. But imagine you could start a fight by yourself, or maybe with a companion and the entire bar would start brawling after a bit. I'd imagine it'd be like that mission early on in Valentine with Bill, Charles, and Javier. On that note, it would be sweet to see a more in-depth melee system. Maybe a combination of GTA 4 and Red Dead Redemption 2. The user Third Worlds questioned how the Red Dead Redemption 2 camp upgrade would be applied in the next GTA game. See what he said. Red Dead Redemption 2 camp upgrade. How would you apply it on GTA 6? Upgrading the gang's camp was an amazing feature to spend money besides the usual. Clothes, character, guns, and transportation. I always felt like in GTA you can make loads of money, but never really spend it on other things rather than the above. I don't mean we should micromanage every piece of furniture on the character's house, but how would you translate it from Red Dead Redemption 2 to GTA? Scarface for PS2 did this on an engaging way in which you could modify Tony's mansion with different themes, wallpaper, statues. You could place different furniture by hand. You could even buy the Apollo 11 or King Tut's tomb and place it on the mansion, which really fitted Tony's character and personality. Buying those things costed millions in-game which meant a lot of grinding that was challenging enough, at least for a 10-yo kid back then, and it kept me trying and trying. Bottom line is, in which ways should the game allow us to spend money and engage us to grind for it in an appropriate way? What do you guys think? Leave your comment below and don't forget to subscribe for more GTA 6 news.